Hi, my name is Joshua with Kids Ministry Tools, and in this object lesson, we're gonna talk about the wise man and the foolish man. So in Matthew chapter number seven and verse 24, it says, therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rains descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Then verse 26 he says, And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, is likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rains descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. So can you guess which one's the wise man and which one's the foolish man? <laughs> it's easy to guess after reading those verses. The wise man built his house upon the rock, and the foolish man built his house upon the sand. But Jesus is not telling a story about a wise man and a foolish man. What is he talking about? He is talking about somebody who is like a wise man and like a foolish man. He is demonstrating almost like an object lesson. But what is he doing? He is basically saying the wise man builds his house upon a rock. A foolish man would build it upon the sand. But he has given an example like this. He said the wise man is somebody who doesn't just listen to the sayings of Jesus, but also does those sayings. He obeys those sayings. So when the rains come and the waters flow down all over the house, it is a mess, but the house stays firm. Why? Because it is built upon, it is built upon a rock. And he says, that's the wise man. The wise man's gonna hear the word of God and hear the Lord's teachings and follow them and do them. But the foolish man, he says, is the guy that listens to the word of God, who listens to Jesus's teachings and does them not. He said, that guy is like a man that builds his house upon the sand. And the rains came and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon the house. So much to so that the house fell and great was the fall thereof. And that house was destroyed. It was gone. Why? Because he only listened to the word of God instead of obeying the word of God. We don't need to just listen to the teachings of God's word. We don't need just to listen to the teachings of Jesus. We need to also obey them. So which one are you today? Are you the wise man who not just reads the Bible, but obeys? Or are you the foolish man? Hmm? Are you building your house on the sand or on the rock? Obeying God's word or disobeying God's word? The choice is yours. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this object lesson. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.